We've added air springs to our product range. So now it is important to know which things do I have to consider when I'm changing them. The air bellows are leveling the car. So if you put luggage in, the car would be lower. The air springs level it back up to normal drive level. In this specific case on that car, the first step I need to do is to pull the fuse and then use my diagnostic tool to get all the air pressure out of the bellows. And let's see what the next steps will be. So we remove the air pressure completely from the system. In some cases, it can be necessary that you release the pressure also manually by a valve. Then we took out the shock absorber. We took out the tube. Uh, important thing is that you have to close the pipe so that there is no dirt coming into the system because that would destroy it afterwards. Um, we took the shock absorber out, took the air spring out, and this is your new one. So what we have here is, of course, the same functional principle, but what is a little bit easier is that you take the metal parts out of the pipe and then you just have to take this thing out and do not try to open this thing here, turn it left or right, just leave it as it is. Put the tube in, pull it a little bit back so that it's locked securely. And the pressure will do the rest, the system is locked. And I'm going to mount the spring right now and see if it works. We've mounted a new air spring into the car. Then the next step was to put the fuse back so that the compressor could work. And we pre-filled the air springs with the diagnostic tool. And it's very important that you pre-fill it with a diagnostic tool because if you just start a compressor, you're risking that the air bellow will blow up. Or if you put the car down and the air springs are not pre-filled, this can lead to um, leakage inside of the air spring, which is bad too. So pre-fill it while the car is still hanging on the lift, then put it back, it will level itself and everything will work as good as before.